Hi, boys and girls. This is Mr. Henderson. Last week in math, we started a new unit. This new unit was on data and graphing. Last week, we learned about bar graphs, and we learned that bar graphs represent data by using bars on a graph. So let's do a really quick review from last week. Using our Skittles graph that we created last week, it's very easy for us to interpret this data by looking at our graph versus looking at the Skittles on the left. If I was to say how many green Skittles are there, we would have to stop and count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. But because we have our bar graph, it's really quick and simple. If I say how many orange Skittles are there, we can look at our graph and see orange, it goes up to five. So there are five orange Skittles. Graphing is a way for us to interpret data that is really simple and quick versus having to stop and count like I did before. This week, we're going to continue with graphing and data, and we're going to look at a new type of graph. This week, we're going to talk about pictographs. Pictographs also has a title and labels, but instead of having bars, a pictograph uses pictures or symbols to represent data. Also, something different about pictographs is they have a key to tell us how much each picture or symbol represents. Now you're probably thinking, what in the world are you talking about? So let's look at a pictograph to learn more. So in our pictograph right here, we have our title that says animals on the farm. Our label tells us that the animals that we're looking at on the farm are dogs, cows, and pigs. Our pictures that are going to represent the dogs, cows, and pigs are little barns. But then if we look at the bottom, we have our key. Our key tells us that each barn equals one animal. So now that I have all my data, I'm going to go and interpret my graph. If each barn represents one, that tells me that there are one, two dogs on the farm. There are one, two, three cows on the farm. And there are one, two, three, four pigs on the farm. Let's look at another example. On this example, it's talking about our favorite pets. That's my title. My labels are cat, dog, and hamster. Those are my three types of favorite pets. The picture or symbol that represents each one of those is a paw. But unlike the barn, this one, each paw stands for two votes. So if I was to say how many people said cat was their favorite? pet, we would count the paws. So we got to count by twos. We go two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten people voted for cat as their favorite pet. How about dog? How many people voted for dog as their favorite pet? Right, four. So we're going to count the two paws. Two, four. How about hamster? How many people voted for the hamster? Right, six. Count our paws. Two, four, six. Let's look at one lax example. This example shows us the varieties of apples in a food store. That's our title. Our labels are our different types of apples. We have red delicious, golden delicious, red roam, Macintosh, and Jonathan. We have apples that represent the number of apples in the store. But look at this one. There's something different. We have whole apples, and then we have half of an apple. A whole apple represents 10 apples. But if it has a half, it only represents half of 10, which is 5. So let's look at Golden Delicious. It's the second one in our chart, in our pictograph. If we count by tens, we would say 10, 20, but now we have a half. So we're going to add five. So it'll be 10, 20, 25. There are 25 golden delicious. If we go down one more and look at red Rome, we would just count by tens because all of the apples are whole. 10, 20, 30, 40. There are 40 red Rome apples in a food store. 
Your turn. Look at the last row, the column, the row on the bottom, Jonathan Apples. How many apple, Jonathan Apples are there in the store? Right, there are 35 because we will count by tens, 10, 20, 30, and then we have our half, which will be 5. So we'll say 30 plus 5 equals 35. Now go up to the top in the first row. How many red delicious apples are there in a food store? 10, 20, 30. There are 30 red delicious apples in the food store. Now it's going to be your turn to go work on pictographs. Can't wait to see all of your hard work.